If you were to remove any file from a synced folder, let's say for example, if I were to remove the shortcut to Google Chrome from my desktop, what happens is that Google Drive will notify in a while that the file has, in, has, has been removed and if I want to remove the file in Google Drive as well. So if I were to go over here, you can see that it says remove item in desktop from Google Drive. You moved uh, it into trash or out of the sync folder. Do you want to restore or remove it? So if I were to click on restore, what happens is that the file will be restored onto my desktop. And if I were to delete this out right here and then go on to my Google Drive, then it'll go out and ask me that question again in a while. So here it says uh, remove the item in desktop. So if I were to press remove, then it'll be removed. So it'll be kind of like a backup over here and you can work around with the settings as well. So to do that, you can go to settings and then go to preferences right here. And in preferences, you can see on uh, uh, my computer right here, uh, it says removing the items between sync, uh, items synced between Google Drive and this computer. So if uh, before you remove, ask before removing both copies or if you want to always remove both copies right here, never remove both copies. So uh, ask is the better option because it asks you whether you want to keep the backup in Google Drive or not. If you were to choose always remove both copies, then uh, it won't ask you. It's, it'll just remove out the file and if you were to click on never remove both copies although you delete your files from your desktop it won't be removed on your cloud version of the file that is on your google drive it'll remain safe for future backups so that is how uh, you can work with removing sync items options inside of google drive desktop app that is in backup and sync so if you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe